Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVV Nets video series on STL series and this is a unordered map in C++. So before this we have seen set, multi-set, unordered set and all that and we have seen map also. So you would like to know the difference between map and unordered map, correct? So the major difference is it is built using red black tree and this is built using hashing and datas are stored in buckets. So this is the internal of map and unordered map. And another difference is this is used to contain the key value pair in sorted order. Key and value in sorted order. I mean, it will be sorted on the basis of key. So if you inserted something inside this map and you are iterating over the map, in that case you will get the data which is sorted based on key, okay? But that thing is not there in unordered map because it says that I am unordered map. So if you are seeing only map, means it is ordered and here it is unordered. So these are the basic and major differences between these two. So let's go for the points here. So the STED unordered map is an associative container that contains key value with unique keys. Obviously, key should be unique. And prerequisite to understand unordered map is map. So first go ahead and watch my map video if you don't know what is map at all. And this red black tree I will explain in my data search algorithm series. And this is a balanced binary search tree. So we'll see all these things in later videos. This is a very simple video. And if you are actually following my STL series then you will be seeing that okay I have this line, this line, this line and this line actually repeated. because before this video, I have explained unordered multi-set and these things actually follow in that case also. So let's quickly go through this and then we'll go for this practical and complete this video. So watch this video till end. So search, insertion and removal have average keys, constant time complexity. Because it uses hashing, it has the constant time complexity to insert and remove. Okay, and internally the elements are organized into the buckets and it uses hashing to insert element into the buckets and this allows fast access to individual element because after computing the hash of the value, it refers to the exact bucket the element is placed into. Correct. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go ahead and watch the previous video in this list where I have explained actually everything about this. So I'm not going to explain everything again and again because it will be a boring part then. And why you will use unordered map? Because you want to maintain a collection of unique key value pair with fast insertion and removal. You don't worry about the order because you don't want them into a sorted order in any way. You just want them to be stored and key should be unique. That's what you need. So you will go for another map. Now let's look at this program here. As it is a map, I mean part of a map. So we need key and value type. And this is one of the way you can actually create or initialize your unordered map. And we access these elements using their key. So this is the object and we will use this syntax to actually get the value. So if you are putting this one means one is the key. So this is a key and this is value. So you will get A here and in this case you will get B. So this is A and this is B. Now if you are updating it means you are saying that now key one should hold C. So this will get replaced. So this will become C now. So if you will iterate over it, so this is a way we can iterate over it. So if you are iterating over it, this element object will actually hold two data, first and second. So first would be the key and second is going to be the value. So if you will print this, you will get one and in value case, you will get C because we have updated it and in second loop, you will get two and you will get B here and we can find some key whether it exists in that or not. So it is traditional way that you do dot find and this gives you an iterator of the found value. I mean, if you have like this and maybe you have two here, then it will return the iterator of this guy. And if it is not giving the iterator of this guy, it will return some specific value which will actually be equal to this and. So 
if you don't know what this and contains this contains some special value so you have to equate that with this so if that matches with this it means it is not found but here if it is not matching then we know that it is found and we can print it so let's run this program and sum this video i compiled it compiled successfully let's execute this and this is the value see i'm getting value a here as i said b here and after updating if i will print this see i'm getting oh yeah see 2b is coming first and then a and c is coming because there won't be any order correct i said first it will be a and c and then 2 and b but it can be in any order and then you're trying to find 2 here and it is actually found and this iterator will have first and second and i'm just simply printing that and that's it and what if this is not an order map if what if it is ordered i mean map and let's make this one as map here so what if it is map let me just recompile this compiled and if i'll execute this you will see the order and let's see the difference i'll maximize this and see the difference here it was giving 2b and 1c now it is giving 1c and 2b so it is sorted on the base of key I have an announcement for you guys. After completing two to three videos of STL, I will have data structure and algorithm videos. So maybe just wait for maybe two to three days and we will start on this again because I have created some linked list related videos and linked list related problems. If you don't know, you can go ahead and see them. And maybe by the time you're watching this video, these lists are already created, maybe. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.